What if I told you you should use the Riverside app for all your remote and in-person interviews even when using mobile devices to record? It sounds like you're saying I should use Riverside to record all my video and audio content, then I also get transcriptions powered by AI in over 100 languages every time I record? Riverside is the one, Neo. By the way, this bizarre interview was recorded entirely in Riverside on an Android phone and an iPhone using external microphones, all in high quality video and audio. Let's show you how we did it. So why would you record an in-person interview using Riverside anyway? Well, when you run the Riverside app on both you and another guest's iPhone, you can make sure that all of the video and audio files are in sync and they're all uploaded to the cloud at the same time. You don't have to airdrop files or try to upload them to a cloud service. Everything will be inside your Riverside studio in sync and high quality video and audio. Or if it's just you in person interviewing a remote guest, you can still use one of these mobile device setups to make sure you get the highest quality audio and video possible from your device. Let's build out the recording kit, both with an iPhone and an Android phone, which is another great use case for Riverside. If you have multiple device platforms, maybe you wanna use several iPhones and several Android phones, you can make sure all the audio and video files are in the same format recorded to Riverside. So here are our two phones, iPhone and Android, and you're actually gonna need a similar adapter for both. For the iPhone, we're gonna use a lightning connector to headphone jack adapter, and for the Android phone, a USB-C adapter to headphone adapter. This is still the most consistent and reliable way to connect external microphones and headphones to a mobile device. So let's connect those adapters to both phones. Now, if you wanna be able to listen to remote guests from your phone, you're going to need a splitter like this one. This will be an eighth inch headphone jack that will plug into the adapter on the phone, and then this side of the adapter splits out headphone connection and microphone connection to make sure you can monitor and use a separate microphone. Let's actually use this one on the Android phone. And now we'll connect our microphone and headphones. For the iPhone, I'm going to use the Rode Wireless Go To microphones. This allows me to have one on the interviewer and the guest if I have two people in person, and both of those will go to this audio receiver, and this is what connects to my iPhone. So I'm gonna plug the included cable, eighth inch jack, into the receiver and also into the adapter on the iPhone. Now the iPhone is ready to be mounted and these microphones placed on my in-person guests. For the Android phone, I'm actually going to use this microphone, which is a shotgun mic, and I'm actually gonna join the Riverside Studio as a guest on the Android phone so the audio is actually recorded. When you go into the Riverside app, either on an iPhone or Android phone, you can choose to join it as a secondary camera. You'll see we have that option both on Android and iPhone. On iPhone, it's up here, join with second camera. On Android, join with second camera down here. When you join a studio with secondary camera from a mobile device, there will be no audio recorded from that device specifically. This is useful if you have many different mobile devices, maybe you want three or four additional angles, and you don't need to record audio from all those angles. With Riverside, they're all recorded in sync, they're the same length, so it's easy to pull them into a multicam clip, but since I actually want audio to be recorded from all of the mobile devices, I'm connecting different microphones, and I want all that audio redundancy, I'm actually gonna join the studio as a host from my iPhone device and send a guest link or join it with the Riverside app from the Android device. When everyone joins as a guest, you'll be able to record that audio from every device. If you'd like to learn more about secondary camera or editing with multicam clips, we have those videos in the description. Now, since I'll be using this shotgun microphone with the Android device, and it's a little cumbersome to try and attach that, I'm actually going to use this mobile device cage. We have an entire video on mobile device rigs. You can check that video out above or in the description. I still have access to the USB-C port on the bottom, so I can still plug in that adapter. And now I can mount this microphone to the cage using one of the cold shoe mounts here. And then I'll plug the microphone into the microphone side of this splitter attached to the Android device using the USB-C to headphone adapter. Now my Android device is ready to mount on a tripod and ready to record. Now ideally you could get a cage like this for both of your mobile devices, and then you could even add a small LED light to make sure you and your interview guests are lit well. Again, you can check that out in our Creator Mobile Rig video, but this is actually just a small rig rechargeable LED light, really nice. It has a little softbox on the front so it gets a little more even, and I'm using a ball joint adapter right here and another cold shoe mount here on this rig. And again, you could get another one of these cages for your other mobile devices. Or for the iPhone, I'm going to use this clip right here, screw it onto a tripod. I can secure that cable a little better, but now my iPhone is ready to record and it's receiving audio from my wireless lapels. Now you'll probably want a larger tripod like this one, especially if you're conducting an in-person interview, probably needs to go all the way down to the floor. We'll put a link to this tripod, which is a Manfrotto tripod in the description, but any tripod that you can screw one of those adapters to will do just fine. And that's how to conduct a complete interview in person or even remotely, but using a mobile setup and with the Riverside app. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. We have lots of videos on lighting, building a video podcast setup, and how to talk to a camera if you need to get comfortable 
in recording video content. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.